Hello and welcome. How are you doing? Next I plan to show that, that what happened when this timing chain becomes old. And, and normally these timing chains last huge amount of mileage and and this timing chain is normally like in this 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 engine it, it works in in this way and we set up that in this way and there is this this crankshaft and here is this camshaft and then this chain moves and then this parts moves in like this way and and then then we have always some kind of tensioner and and we here we have that kind of tensioner what works so that that inside in this this tensioner there is compressed spring and then this tensioner becomes becomes out and then it tension and like in like in here now I try to I try to insert this tensioner in, in down. Let's see that how how it happened. It is not not so easy to do. Okay. I just bent this down and now it, it went back. I try again. Okay, and now it's in there. And this is the this is the starting point of this tensioner. And it, it works like in and in that and then when when this Chain and here needs more thickening. It is in adjusted in normally in in somewhere in this this side side area like in this this area and, and then when this tensioner becomes up, it it thickens like in this way this chain and then this chain is is thick. And this is this tensioner's work. And, and then when this is installed in engine, it works in that way. But then when this when we drive in this timing chain of long mileage, something like I estimate 300,000 miles, then this chain becomes a little bit longer. And this this it it, it is like millimeters. But I saw that here is my this scale, and when it, it becomes old, it is in that amount maybe longer. And this means that when this this becomes longer, then this timing chain tensioner is 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 quite soon in this maximum level. What is in this one? And the starting point was this in this base level in here, and now it has been thickened so much and then it can't thick this anymore and then this another part in this belt becomes loosened and it starts to move in that way and, and normally when we have some poor old car it, it start to hit this chain in some some metallic part and it start to give that kind of sound and if you hear if you insert more turns and then you hear this sound, this is only this chain what hits in some engine part. And it is not very very dangerous uh, because this chain is still working, this parts moving nicely and, and it's it's very unnormal that this that this chain uh, becomes and, and go broken that this 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 chain cut in in some place. It is very unnormal. I have I have not ever heard or seen. And only this sound, this noise, noise tells to us that that now this now this chain is 
it's time to replace and, and these are like standard spare parts but but uh, but this time comes only when we have a huge amount of miles this 3000 miles three three hundred thousand miles or more but maybe it is maybe possible in less less miles also but I have not ever heard or seen any this new cars timing chain this uh, sound I, I, I remember one car in in 1980s where was this very common issue that 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 this this chain becomes becomes this noise but but anyhow this car is not not anymore in alive then this whole brand is is dead and and it's like history but this is the idea that how how this timing chain even becomes longer and when it is very old it starts to keep this sound okay and this was this timing chain information and, and it's always all of these parts are possible to purchase new one and replace this chain these wheels and then this tensioner okay and thank you for watching